Ich freue mich sehr, Besuch hier zu haben und zwar von Sergio von Kasabian. It's a pleasure, welcome. Hello, welcome. Well, thank you. Well, I've been here the whole day. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. First of all, congratulations because I'm obsessed with your football skills. I just watched your impressive goal again and again. Mm. It just happened last Sunday. Sunday, last said Sunday that? yeah. You are an impressive uh, football player. No, yeah, it was a great day. I mean, it was um, sort of raised so much money for UNICEF as well, which is incredible. You know, it was sort of like f it's up to like four and a half, five million pounds. You know, yeah. just for playing football was a great thing. You know, but yeah, no, I was. It was. Uh, It, 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 it was lovely to do that, to, to, to score that goal, yeah. Maybe I just have to explain that in German. It sollte sich jeder wirklich angucken. Es ist ein Lupfer, wie man ihn selten gesehen hat. Ein großartiges Tor, das Sergio eben für den guten Zweck für Charity geschossen hat. Aber yeah, let's talk about music now, of course, because I'm actually pretty curious how the new album, how uh, Velociraptor is doing live, especially on festivals. Mm. How's it going? One of the great things about the record is, is how it sort of balanced the set. Uh, and it's, it's made... The the um, the older songs sound completely like they're just they're reborn. It sort of takes you, you know, it takes you sort of on a euphoric journey. And the new tunes have really added to that, you know. Mm -hmm. And there's one thing I'm really curious about because um, I've been a fan of your music for such a long time, and of course, the sounds you do it's changed and it's developed, of course, during the years. And your English and the English, um, you know, the, the music scene, it's so famous for being some, you know, that they drop people easily. Mm. After, if, if people change, then they drop them. If they don't change, they drop them, they yeah, lose yeah, interest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do you have any idea why Kasabian still works? Uh, I, I think what it is, you gotta be, you kind of got to be good. I know it sounds silly, you know. And if you are gonna 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 change, then you've got to kind of do it for the right reasons, you know, like... It's got to be a creative decision where, like, this is what we want to try this now. I suppose you've got to be confident with that. And also, you know, when you play live, you know, you've got to, we st you know, you have to sort of mean every word, you know. Every guitar strum, you have to mean it with it, with all of, your, all of your heart, you know. And I think that translates to people and they appreciate that, you know. Yeah, I think that's it. I mean, I think people are want to know what we're going to do next as well and that's real special for a band because usually they're not bothered yeah, yeah or they want you to stay the same whereas i think everyone's like well what's going to happen next you know including me you know it's great it's been a while now that you've been playing together it's more like, almost like 15 years i guess yeah so what do you think i mean like in you've changed in the in those years and and uh, your albums prove that mm. and do you think this this journey worked because there's a You know, you had a lot of luck, actually, you know, as people, that you actually still work together. Or is it is it actually work to to have a healthy band relationship? I think we we sort of locked together through history. You know, I mean, knowing each other for so long, nearly 20 years, and we were friends before we were a band, before we were musicians. You know, I think that helps. Uh, it blows my head off, really, that we're still. We're still sort of hanging out and, and like a sense of humor, you know. I think that's what's kept us together. We've never really taken it seriously. So I think that's that helps, you know. There's one thing I've, I always wanted to talk uh, to you about, and that's all these awards you get, do they still pamper your egos? Because in some interviews, you, you seem to be like, you're so confident and so cool, you just don't care at all whether somebody wants to give you an enemy award. Kasabian, don't care. I don't think they're important because they shouldn't be and you don't ever start a band or play the guitar to win awards and if you do then you're pretty, you know, you've not really got a chance, you know. And I think once you, you shouldn't hold on to it, like, you shouldn't sort of parade them in your house and walk around them and you should just, they should just be hidden and never thought about again because it's not really about that. But it, at the same point, it's very nice to win. One thing I like about you that so much is that you're one of I think at the moment, pretty few bands they have this broad-shouldered um, rock attitude to mm. what they're doing, no matter how electronic you get. Um, you're sometimes a bit bored about not having any competition on that on that aspect. I've never really thought about like competition as far as other bands. It's not necessarily sort of uh, you know that kind of like a uh, high testosterone attitude. It's more to do with characters. I think that's what I miss. Music was full of weirdos and and, and you know and, and 
and but there seems to be less and less. You know, seems to be changing rooms full of people on laptops and you know, and, uh, just like what? What's going on? You know, it's like where's where's like where's the fun? You know. So you should be happy about Motorhead playing tonight. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but you know. Ultimately, the only thing that matters is the music that bands make is incredible, you know? I mean, you can, anyone can party, you know, that's easy, but you've got to cut it live and you've got to make great records, you know? That's impo more important than anything. So my last um, my last question is actually just to, to come full circle, soccer or football. I mean, I think last time when, when Germany and England met in the, in the World Cup, you know, it yeah, ended we were, not we were, that we were, well for you. We were in Germany, yeah. It was 1-4. We yeah, it was for, for England. Yeah. So who's going to put an end to the English dreams at the coming cup? It's for the first time ever in in England, no one thinks they're going to do very well. So that could be their chance. It, it might be. It, it, it has a funny way of doing things like that. Football, mm -hmm. no, really, no one's really given them a chance, and that's very odd because usually, even when they're not that great, everyone th thinks they're going to win, win it. But so has anyone asked you to join the team after that? thing that happened last Sunday? Yeah, yeah, I've had offers from <laughs> all the top teams in England, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bayern Munich as well, yeah. Yeah, I've heard. I've, so I've got, you know, I've got a job <laughs> to do elsewhere, so. Sure. Well, I'm glad that you're still doing music. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank Sergio. you very much.